Are you rolling the ball? Rolling the ball. Well, that's what this is pill is all about. That's the ball. And that's the buffalo of freedom, hopping merrily over the ball. Now, this beautiful creature here is free. There's no saddle on its back. Its eyes are telling you, lay off, leave me in my own personal space, as I indeed will always leave any other human being. The horns are telling you, if you step inside of that creature's personal space, you're going to get gnarled. This is the title of the album. But also, the, what the colours I chose was a reference to some of those early 1940s, 50s colour posters that films were presented with. There's definitely um, a, an homage to Tarzan here. <laughs> Uh, but done most respectfully, I love the artwork uh, uh, that, uh, of film posters, and, and I still do to this day. And so is all of that. And these are the beautiful colours I've always loved and painted in. All right. Um, but there's also uh, another homage at the same time in this to Kandinsky. Kandinsky, the artist, all right, who taught me lots. Um, one of the very few museums I've ever been to that I truly loved and adored was the Guggenheim in New York. And I had the joy of joys the day I visited. I loved the building, its conical slight walkway. I felt every single piece of art in the building was there for my enjoyment. And I felt personally attached to the paintings. And when I seen this beautiful creature which is somehow similar to this not completely because I'm nowhere near as good an artist uh, I, I, I felt really really moved by that and this goes back to um, well actually it was the Sex Pistols when they'd fallen apart and I moved to New York that, that was the time and, and uh, I've ever since then drawn and painted almost continuously the, this kind of uh, theme uh, and not up until now have I ever really used it. I mean, I, I love being involved with the artwork of Pill in, in, in all of its shapes and sizes and guises. But this, this cover, above all else, I think expresses freedom. Uh, the back? No, this is not a carpet. This is a very small section out of the colour palette I chose, which I left on the bottom. That's just the way it is. And there's the information of the tracks. When you go inside, there's that beautiful creature, and he's not playing with his balls any longer. Because he doesn't need to. Because there's the record. Remove the CD, same emblem. This doesn't come cheap, but we don't treat our fans cheap, we don't make our music cheap, and we like a thing to be forever. If you own this, you will own it forever, and you will be proud of the work we've put into it for you by us. This is a, a computerization of that, which I, I was experimenting. I'm by no means an expert. But I, I love any art form in, in all of its many guises. Um, I'm no genius with the computer, but I liked what happened here when I juxtapositioned all of these different events into this, this beautiful coloured representation of freedom. Um, if you go inside here, there's a booklet. Where we recorded the album was um, in the Cotswolds, which is a um, sheep farming country in Britain. It's also where a lot of yuppies go to have sex, but it's mostly full of sheep. That is my representation of the locale. That's my vision of where we were. Up here is the barn. There is a steeple here, which represents 
anti-religion a new religion at the same time. It's also a penile extension. Odd how that happens, isn't it? But there it is. That's where Pell recorded this album. And that's, for me, artistically, trying to represent what we've achieved musically. I think it may be slightly inefficient because the music is, is far ahead of this. But that's the best homage I can pay to my band, who I love very much. Literature. Uh -huh. Things that you may find relevant and useful. Uh, we've limited it somewhat. It says, for instance, uh, Lou Edmonds' guitars. Well, it's not strictly guitars. Lou's approach to music is he's never found a guitar to be sufficient enough sound-wise. So he has experimented it for a long, long time with instruments like sazes, anything with uh, an odd number of strings or an odd oat inter intonation. Uh, he he pl loves to play with different musical scales, which bodes well for Pill because I don't sing in a regular way either. Uh, that's probably why we work so well. Um, and this is it, really. This is Pill. This is how Pill are. Um, I'm, I don't mean to leave out the other guys and here, because all of us are, are part and parcel of this. We care. That's all I can tell you. We care. And I don't see too much of that anywhere else. Hello, Mitch. Got a question? 